Hey guys, as here bringing you another video. Now, welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that will take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. So, return to the series, Platinum 2, 100 LP, currently in promotion series, and the last game, we won the first promo match. Uh, and usually, whenever you win your first promo match, you probably are going to end up winning the promo series. Touch wood, don't want to jinx myself. Um, but yeah, today we're playing mid, and it's actually annoying. I actually wanted to play a Lee Sin game today. I queued up as jungle, and then mid, but still got mid lane. Uh, so not really sure what I'm going to play. Obviously, I want to play something that I know I'm pretty strong at, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, but what am I going to ban? So, Ash randomly, uh, Yasuo, and Nah. I'm going to ban probably just Aurelia. Yeah, Aurelia is probably the best one just to get rid of. Um, I'm thinking I might play Ziggs. Um, Ziggs is a champion I haven't played in a while. But he used to be one of my really big comfort picks. I think he's still not bad in strength if you manage to get yourself going. And just for trying to think of Ziggs versus the popular mid laners. I only think he'll struggle against two. I think he struggles against... Uh, Syndra quite badly and Velkos quite badly, but other than those two, I think he'll be okay. Um, well, and LeBlanc, I guess, but everything pretty much struggles versus LeBlanc. But yeah, I think we'll be good as Ziggs potentially. We'll see though. Like we are pick four, so we might be able to see what they pick before we pick. Um, so if there's something that I can play that's a counter, then I will play it. Again, I'm in the kind of ballpark that you shouldn't specifically pick a champion that's a counter. Only pick a counter if you know how to play that champion anyway. Uh, right, so the enemy team first pick a Zin. We first pick a Caitlyn. And then the Lee Sin. Okay, cool. Summoner 2 is pecking for the enemy team. And it's going to be a Sona. It could be Sona mid. Randomly, people are starting to play it a little bit more. It's got a lot of one-shot potential with, its, uh, with Lich Bane. So you have to be a little bit careful of it. And then Summoner 3... What are you going to pick? I, I say, I presume it's going to be support Sona because I don't think many people are playing it mid, but, you know, I'm just saying it could be. Uh, there's Jinx. Okay. And then I don't know who exactly I'm against, so I'm just going to pick Ziggs, I think. Or do I pick... Eh, yeah, I'm just going to pick Ziggs. He's cool. And we've also got Major Ziggs, apparently. Yeah. Master Yi lock-in. Don't know exactly where that's going because they already have a Zin Zhao, unless it's Zin top, but that would be kind of weird. Um, trying to think, what do I want to do? Do I want to go oppressor or do I want to go... Okay, I'm going to get an Orianna. Um, that's fine. It's kind of just a farming matchup, more or less. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think, what do I want to do? Do I want to go teleport or do I want to go ignite? It's kind of hard to decide because an Orianna is a weird one. If it's a bad Orianna, you can kill them fairly easily. But if it's a, a passive Orianna or a good Orianna, they're actually hard to kill. So I'm going to go teleport. Use my teleport advantage just to come back into lane and then hopefully use it into the late game because I am a poke champion after all. Um, so yeah, without much further ado, let's get into the game while you're playing Ziggs. Okay, welcome to loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. Now, as you can see, my team has a 50.6% chance to win. Uh, but let's break it down. The enemy team have a Diamond 5 Orianna with a good win rate, but not a great KD. She's also got Ignite, so I've got to be careful about that. Uh, they have Platinum 1 Jinx, a Platinum 1 Zin, a Platinum 2 Master U with a pretty good win rate, and a Platinum 1 Sona with a pretty good win rate, who's also gone Ignite. On my team, we've got a Platinum 1 Hecarim, a Platinum 2 Lee Sin, a Platinum 3 Janna, a Platinum 2 Caitlyn, and a Platinum 2 Ziggs as myself. Uh, so, so far, I've played two games of Ziggs in this series. 1-1, one, one, lost one with a KD of 9-5-8, with over 250 farm in each game. So that's not bad. Hopefully we can have a similar game to that, because that would probably be good enough to try get the victory. Um, but my goal of today's game, obviously, is just get as strong as possible. But it's probably going to be just kiting and kind of getting rid of the Master Yi and Zin. I should do quite well versus those champions in teamfights, because I can put my minds in the way. I can also W them away. So that should go quite well for us. So without much further ado, let's get into the match itself. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we are playing Ziggs, uh, the poke master himself, I guess. Well, there's actually a few poke mid laners. You've got Ziggs, you've got Zareth, uh, you've got others. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's quite a few. Um, just to mention, if you are enjoying the series, throw a like on the video. It does help the video out. Um, but yeah, this could be the game. Hopefully we won't jinx ourselves. 
Uh, but we could win this game and then finally be in Platinum 1, which will be the last division, last tier of this series. Uh, overall, the series so far, it's, it's been okay. It's been pretty long, but I don't mind it going long. Uh, again, I don't really mind about winning or losing in this uh, series. I care more about like teaching you guys and showing you the adventure. Um, so yeah. And then when the series is finished, when we get to Diamond on this account, we will be making a video talking about our experience and just throwing some basic tips. Uh, or not basic, it could even be advanced tips that we kind of learned throughout the whole series. Um, and then yeah, we'll do it again next season. Might do some changes to Unwrecked to Diamond next season, but we'll have a look-see when that time comes. But yeah, right, let's move everybody around. Um, so my bot lane just has to be careful because of the Ignite. She has gone Ignite and then Windseeker's Blessing, which is a bit weird. Usually if you want to go Ignite, you'll go like Thunderlords because it's like damage orientated. Um, but yeah. Okay, so she has not got Assassin because she has uh, Total Biscuits of Rejuvenation. So she might... Well, again, it's a bit of a contradiction. She's got Ignite, but... Oh, I, I tried to cancel that auto. She's got Ignite, but then hasn't gone like the pure damage masteries. So if I was you, if you are going Ignite... Pure damage masteries is probably better because that's what you're kind of going for. That was a good trade for me if I managed to get... Ah, uh, damn. It was still a good trade for me. Positive. I lost less health than her. Um, but it was a shame that she got that last little Thunderlords proc on. If she didn't get that, then it would have been a really good trade. Early gank from Yi. I'm not really that scared of it, to be honest. Uh, usually they'll just farm in the early game and kind of ignore their lanes. I was just looking for the Thunderlord's proc there. Might look for First Blood because you have to remember she's got Ignite. Um, so she doesn't really have any survivability. Oh. Well... If I miss my W, <laughs> then that's always a, a great thing. Yeah, gotta make sure I hit that, because if I don't... Ouch. Gonna have a relatively early back. Uh, I might be dead. Ooh, there sums. Okay, surviving, that's good. Again, she's got the Ignite, so she wants to try and get ahead with Ignite. If you survive it, it's really, really good. I survived it. I got Teleport to come back. Great. It is risking me TPing here, but I'm going for it. <laughs> Why did she do that? What? What? Why didn't she run away? Okay, that's really good. Lee's got that kill. Has to have that kill. Nice, Lee. That was a really good Q. Really good Q. And top lane. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. I would be really happy if we win this game. Because I've been in Plat 2 for too long. <laughs> uh, I think most people will probably agree to that. Nice. Cool. All right. So we get randomly first blood on her because I don't know she was cocky. I'm not really, I'm not really sure how to describe what she just did. Hecarim gets a kill and he's ahead on farm by a lot. And Lee Sin gets a nice kill on the Marcy, which basically means that Marcy has no buffs. Lee took them, which is good for us. Really? Oh my god, I've not played Ziggs in so long. <laughs> It's going to take me a few uh, minutes to kind of get used to his abilities. Uh, okay, bot lane. Hopefully they don't lose because, again, it's the only lane that right now is not winning. But uh, as long as they don't die, that's a good thing. She had to use both summoners. Janice still has exhaust. As a support, never be afraid to use exhaust if your AD carry is dying, obviously, because it's kind of there to save your AD carry. I think I'm going to go back soon, though, and buy myself a mana regen item. Nice! So they even turn it. Without Lee Sin, by the way. Lee Sin did not get an assist for that kill. Lee Sin's going to get this kill, though. Nice. This game is going really good. Really, really good. Ping missing. Let's go and buy this item. I'm going to go Morello. Um, I think that's a, probably a better idea than... 
I don't know, the, the other option would probably be Rower, maybe on a Ziggs. Like, it's hard to kind of say, but I think it wouldn't be terrible on him. But I think going Morello and then Ludens is probably the best build. Hecarim should be able to wreck this guy because he's probably even level 6 nearly. Wow, yeah. Goodbye, Zin. You should just go for the kill. Yeah, he should have just gone for the kill as soon as um, thingy showed up. He, he might still live, we never know, but... I'm going to head up there and throw my ultimate down. Is he going to live? Oh my god, he lived. I'm not going to get to that, am I? Nope. Alright, game the kill on Zin's good enough. He actually gave uh, Hecarim an assist too, so that's really good. Going to return to mid lane though and maybe just focus a bit more on farming. I've been a little bit too focused on getting some kills. Which usually you don't do as Ziggs by the way. Usually Ziggs is a farming mid laner. But, I don't know, today I kind of want to get fed because, you know, I want to carry to try and win the game. Um, bot lane still, uh, it still looks like it's in the enemy's favour, but that's okay. Good cube. Alright. So, to catch up with Ori, farm, I'm probably going to start to need to do rates. And not miss farm too, that would be great. Throw her into thingy. I always think Ziggs is like the foundation for Talia or Talia. Um, because her, his mines and W is basically the same interaction. So I, I very much think that Talia was based on Ziggs a little bit at least. So blue buff is coming up. I'm going to head over there in a second. Oh, he's not doing it. Okay. I just missed 3 CS. Okay, so Hecarim's coming mid. Orianna is actually Oom right now. So if she stays around, this is actually a really good gank. Their blue buff's up in 25. Don't know where he is. Bot lane. It actually looks to be going good for my team right now. That healing was insane. Lee Sin should come and finish that Jinx off though. Nice. That's good to see. Really good. Yeah, Leeson's having a good game. He is 4-0, and obviously you want to make sure that you're sharing kills around as a Lee Sin because you do drop off a little bit in damage terms. But it's not a terrible thing. You know, those kills, that double kill, my AD carry probably wasn't getting get the kill. So it's not a big deal whatsoever. Right, he doesn't have smite, <clears throat> but I think that's fine. I can try and burst it. Get this blue buff now, which will allow me to. Not R. Hecarim's heading mid lane. There's a lot of minions there, so I'm missing out yet again, but. Whatever. Thanks. Hecarim nearly got the kill on Oriana. You never know. <laughs> Randomly just kill her. Alright, I don't know what really the Master Yi is doing. He was desperate for that kill. Uh, Yi Flash. But yeah, as soon like when he was going on me, if I tried to fight him there, I was dead. So just run to my Janna. That's what she's there for. A Jenner is there to protect. So, pretty simple survival there. Nothing bad. It also gives me, I think, a refresher on the blue buff, if I'm not mistaken. I do have teleport up. Do I want to use it? Uh, not really. Like, I'm behind in CS in this matchup, but again, it's I'm 3-0. Like, I haven't really been focusing on CS. And it's really hard to catch somebody that's just staying in mid the whole time. Because I have roam top lane for an ultimate and stuff like that. I'm not just staying here. So as long as they're last hitting, like, fine, I'm not going to catch the Orianna, um, unfortunately. Right. So there's you. Are we diving? I hate... Okay, so Master Yi's about to get absolutely bamboozled. There's you. Goodbye, Yi. <laughs> Poor guy. Thing with Master Yi, 
like a lot of people have asked me to play him. I will never play him because I don't really find him interesting. But as long as you don't let a Master Yi do what he wants to do, he's like a crazy easy champion to beat. Um, because you just kind of camp him with CC is the best way to beat him. Um, or just raw damage, really. Use the satchel to blow up the tower. Kind of just remembered that's a thing. Not broken at all. <laughs> Xin Zhao, 24 years playing League of Legends. Um, hey, <laughs> he just landed next to me. I'll take it. I'll go back and then teleport if needed. She should be fine though. That tower's gone in bot lane, but whatever. It's at the point of the game now that we're just kind of starting to snowball to try and get other towers. So losing a few isn't that big of a deal. It's inevitable, basically. So he's doing a bit of counter jungling, okay? Yeah, but 103, 502, 50002, 10. Wait, we haven't died yet? Oh my god, I didn't even know. Wow. Who's going to be the first to die? And now that I've said that, it's going to be me. But yeah, I don't really rate... Some people ask, do I rate Zin Zhao top? No, not really. I don't really know what it beats. I guess it's like, kind of like an early game snowballing thing, but... Uh, the thing with doing these videos and the thing with like the League thing is the differences between high and low rating are really different. Like in whatever rating most of my viewers will be, is in Zhao might be an okay <clears throat> top laner. Um, but the higher rating you go, the less that becomes true. So, yeah. Well, what the hell was that flash? That was, um, interesting. Alright, let's get the tier 2. I got Satchel in 10, but it's probably going to die before I have Satchel up. Alright, I'll do Donkey. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Is this Lee a smurf? Um, no, he's not. He's just having a really good game. What do you mean? Is that a mistake? I need more people here. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh... <laughs> Give it to Hecarim, I guess. Oh, Hecarim was the first to die. Yay, I don't have to be worried about dying first. Ooh. All right, we got to be careful of the dragon. Um, trying to think what they're gonna do is uh, like how are they gonna make their comeback? Are they gonna group? Because if they group, well, I think yeah, I think they'll be dead if they group anyway. Because the thing with being really fed, it's weird. Sometimes it's really good grouping, sometimes it's not. If I was the enemy team, I'd want this lane phase to continue as much as possible. Um, so I'd stay in like I'd all stay in lanes. Probably. Um, because they're so far behind in just gold. In a team fight, we'd just wreck them. So, yeah. Oh. oh, man. You're not doing dragon? Leeson's over there. Just coming down basically for the bot tower now. Uh, Lee 
these top still. We should get these people. Good old, just ult them, ult them, ult them, ult them. Oh, hit him! Oh, my Q missed! No! Damn, my Q missed. Are you kidding me? Wait, I, hit, I must have hit Yi, though. Because he's got a little bit of health loss. Ooh, he's squishy. So this is where Ziggs is in his element, is just sieging like nuts. So blue buff, bit of mana regen, and just basically just do this the whole time. <laughs> Ziggs in a nutshell, everybody. damage what the okay well that that was a bit I, i'll be honest i just kind of zoned out then because i didn't think i was gonna die but i was really surprised with how much that that was a good kick i was really surprised with how much damage that they were doing oh hecarim oh that looked painful we got no protection for caitlin unfortunately oh hit it ah, un unfortunate yeah, if one of these two just stayed back and helped, I think it would have been a little bit better, but it's fine. We're still winning just like crazy. But yeah, I was I kind of zoned out then. I just died randomly because I didn't think I was going to die. Uh, that was way more Oriana damage than I anticipated, as you guys can probably tell because I'm dead. Otherwise, I probably would have W'd my way out of there, but oops. But yeah, apparently Oriana does damage. I don't know if she ignited me. Um, Maybe. That means I've died now, so it's me, Caitlyn, and Hecarim that have died. Lee Sin has to die and Janna has to die now. Yep, that's the rules. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to die. <laughs> he's really fed. Hecarim's down there. Um... It's a bit risky me just running through this jungle, I'll be honest, but whatever. Your mouse hotkeys. Who has map hotkeys on their mouse in League? What? I, well, actually, I've heard of one person that uses all their mouse buttons. Um, like Q, W, E, and R and stuff. I've heard someone's done done that. Which I, I don't know why you would do, but yeah. <laughs> Literally landed on top of him. That's kind of funny. Is she overextending? Yeah, this Jinx has overextended quite a lot. Like, she's 0 4. She's not really learning her lesson. Let's throw my ultimate as well. Hey! <laughs> that poor Jinx. She got Caitlyn ulted. Lee Sin was on top of her. And then she got final death, like, mega bomb, whatever it's called. Mega inferno bomb. Oh, that was painful. Oh. Oh, there we go. But yeah, I'll be pretty happy if we win this. Again, you don't want to be too cocky, because it's never over until the fat lady sings. I think he got him. Nice. Um, so, yeah, don't count all your cards. Don't be like, yeah, we've won, when the game's not over yet. Because you never know. Uh, it's solo queue. We know we've won games in this series that you think is, you know, lost. Yeah. Don't know where Oriana is. Like, <laughs> she can probably still one-shot me randomly. Lisa doesn't have kick clones, sadly. God, that so much damage. What do you have? You got Warrior and Yumu. Okay. This guy, like, again, you can't be that sorry. This is Ori play, you know, yeah, one fight. They're getting stomped. So that's one thing to say. Every single one of them has five deaths apart from Zin. You know, this these games happen. There's no point being negative about it. Like, if I was these guys, 
I'm not so, like I'm somebody that will never open mid, but if it's this type of loss and it's past 20 minutes, I will surrender because it's just like I'm gaining nothing from this. And yes, occasionally you can turn things. You've seen in this series we've occasionally turned things, but hey, come on! I could have had a refresh. The chances of them turning this when it's this big a deficit is basically, you know, there there isn't really. Um. So yeah, this would be. Oh, you can't jump over that wall. I forgot. This would be the ones that I would definitely surrender. Didn't die, really? I thought she'd be dead for sure. I think he did like 900. When, yeah. Oh well. Thought I'd do more than that. Uh, so these guys are fighting. They're fine. Yeah, Lee Sin played that actually really well. It looked really messy, but it was actually really smart. He kicked her out of the tower range so he wouldn't get hit by tower anymore. Smart. So while team fighting or something's happening over here or whatever, we're just like in their base. Alrighty then. Um, she should push mid. Do, do, do. Just wait for the minions. And go. Finally. Oh, he finally died. Now Jenna has to die. She's so gonna flash, I think. No. I know I probably could have W'd that in time, or maybe I wouldn't have died, but I'm not risking dying more than what are you doing? There's more people there than you probably think. Why are you what? Okay. <laughs> Why would he focus a Sona that hard? I don't get it. Oh. Well. He's actually died four times now. Feeder. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It don't really matter. Like, he's still really strong. He just kind of is going a bit loopy by himself occasionally. Which you don't need to do. Uh, item wise, I'm basically an item ahead of the Oriana. Oh my god, I'm still going to die though. <laughs> Nope, jokes. I got her, uh, but that's the thing with Ziggs. Um, is Ziggs does a lot of damage. I do a crazy amount of damage, but he is a pure skill shot champion. If you're not hitting your skill shots, you're not going to be useful. And it's really awkward. As a tip to how to beat Ziggs, by the way, go basically next to him because it's so difficult to land cues. If people are like running around you, like the Oriana just did, it's really hard to do. So, yeah, that was frustrating. Mm. Are these guys going? To okay, so the Zin's done something really stupid. Like, I don't know why you'd do that. Like, he's gone Yumu. Okay, fair enough. Why are you continuing to build damage? Like, this game is a game that you just need to try and survive to try and get back into it. And he's still building damage. That's just really, really, really greedy. I think I might teleport up to top lane. Yeah, I'm going to teleport here. Sin's coming. <laughs> I like delivered him to Hecarim then. Like, there you go, Hecarim. Special delivery. <laughs> Throw the mines there. Remember, your mines can be used as a... Oh, for God's sake. Why did he leave me? Why did he leave me? That kick. Where is these people? Okay, they got an inhibitor. Yeah. Oh, man. I didn't want to die there. Next time it's going to be Zonya's, though. Normally, I would have got Zonya's third item instead of Lich Bane. 
because, you know, you want that survivability. But we're so far ahead that getting the Lich Bane is still fine. It's just if I get left alone, then, yeah, I am, you know, susceptible to die, pretty much. Good general. Just auto-attack Caitlyn, you can literally kill it. Auto-attack, 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 she can kill everything, so... Some people will say, what's the difference between a high and low rating AD carry? A big difference is getting auto attacks in. Like there, Caitlyn probably could have got about two more auto attacks in when they were running away by attack moving. Little things like that makes a big difference. It just is min-maxing the amount of damage you're doing. So as an AD carry or pretty much any champion that is reliant on auto attacking, if there's an opportunity to get an auto attack in, take it. Like as long as you're not going to die for it, take that opportunity because that's what your character's all about is trying to get as many of those autos as possible down all right so these guys going back okay we should maybe just go do baron if least in like we can meet him there yeah just go meet him there we don't really need the baron like again i always say baron loses more games than it wins but look at their base. Their base is dying to minions. If they run out here, it's actually a good thing for us because the minions will overrun them. So this is what you'd call a free Baron, which are fine to take. There's the Jinx Rocket. There we go. And now we should group to end the game. She's going back. Okay. Well, I guess she might have a lot of gold. Did she buy Ardent Sensor, whatever it's called here? Um, right, so is Jinx going bot lane because this inhibitor's up? Let's just take this, shall we? May as well just take it. Uh, Hecarim is getting engaged on yet again. He has ultimate. Yeah, there we go. Don't know if my ult would kill that guy. These guys are too tempting. Like, look how grouped they were. That was just too tempting. Yeah, I, I just had to go for that ult up there. All right, so that's going to be the game. So we finally get promoted. Took us a while, uh, but that means we're going to be in the last tier of this series. Technically, uh, the series will most likely continue until the end of the season because you know it's. Still, it's more about the content than the rating. Uh, it's more about the commentaries than, you know, hey, we're in Platinum 1. But um, obviously, it's nice just to get to the rating we want to get to. So there we go. Premium promoted to Platinum 1. Uh, we went 11, 3, 9. Uh, we got an S. Do we get the highest? Lee Sin, for doing really good, only got an S minus, by the way. How did I get a higher grade than this Lee Sin? I don't get it. But we went, yeah, 11, 3, 9, 13.4k gold, 167 farm, solid S score, and damage. So maybe it was the damage. Did we do a lot? No. How did Lee Sin get an S minus? That's ridiculous. So he did more damage than me. He His score was 12, 1. He only died once. And he only got an S minus. Like, sometimes I think their system is a little bit weird. But anyway, the series will continue now in Platinum 1. So thanks very much for watching, guys. So a like on it if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.